If you've come for uh, Armenian treasures in Romania, you have come to the right webinar and we'll be getting started in just a minute. I guess it's not really like going to a lecture where you could possibly wander into the wrong room. This is a little bit more specific, but uh, we're pretty sure you're here because you uh, want to hear about art treasures in Armenia. So uh, I wish you good afternoon or morning or evening, depending on where on the globe you happen to be at this moment. My name is Mark Mamagonian. I'm the Director of Academic Affairs for the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research, Nasser, and, and I do welcome you to today's program, Armenian Treasures in Romania. I want to thank, first of all, the co-sponsors and co-organizers co of today's program, the Ararat Eskijian Museum and the Naragatsi Chair in Armenian Studies at UCLA for coming together for this event, as well as Datev Surpazan and Bela Muradian in Romania. For almost all of us, uh, as has been the case for the past two years specifically, I guess, uh, our thoughts are with those in Armenia today. And um, we're all following the serious developments there. And although our thoughts are, are with everyone in, in Armenia, uh, it's a reality that, that we must... Uh, <laughs> live with and deal with one way or another. Uh, it's not the focus of today's discussion, but it is in the back of our minds or perhaps in the front of our minds as, as we proceed today. The beautiful book, Armenian Treasures in Romania was published in 2020 in Bucharest by the Diocese of the Armenian Church in, our, in Romania. And we have with us today, several of the key contributors to this wonderful volume. The impetus for this event came from my dear friend and colleague, Maggie Magasarian Goshen, uh, the director of the Ararat Eskijin Museum. And I would like to invite Maggie to say a few words or as many words as she wishes to say. Maggie. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Nasser, for hosting today's event. My gratitude goes to Datev, uh, Bishop Datev Hagopian for his vision for gathering distinguished scholars, such as our, our panelists today, including uh, Professor Kawi, who will be assisting us with the translation of the uh, Datev's, uh, Bishop Datev's uh, message, and those who contributed, some of the assistants. I've been hearing from Professor uh, uh, Jotukazian from Hawk that for many years they've been traveling there, taking pictures. I myself am married to a Romanian family, my husband, and I was introduced to the Romanian culture in 1988. That was my first trip. Little did I know that I would be exposed to the Armenian community in Bucharest. I was surprised when they took me to the Armenian Cathedral. I thought I was in mini Hmiaz in, in the heart of the city, this beautiful Armenian Cathedral standing. And there's an Armenian service going on on a Sunday morning. And my interest began from there. And then from there, I took many, many trips. And I marveled at the beauty of the country, the lushness of the, the mountains, the Armenian monasteries were built by the the of uh, the the uh, those who pass through and a vibrant Armenian community established even in the capital uh, uh, Bucharest there's still the Armenian landmarks the the museum uh, the restaurants and other other landmarks that are still maintained the Armenian history until today. So I encourage everyone that is watching today to take a trip to Romania to see the beauty to, uh, of this beautiful country and the rich. rich culture that has remained. Uh, truly, Bishop uh, uh, Datev has done a wonderful job with the publication, and I do hope that those of you who are watching will have a chance to get a copy through the uh, Archbishop, and as well take a trip and marvel. I do hope that this is not the only publication, Datev, uh, Bishop Datev, there will be other publications as well, especially the beauty that exists in the Dudian Museum uh, in, the, in the heart of the city. So back to you, Mark. Again, thank you to all our panelists. Thank you so much, Maggie. Uh, but before I give a brief introduction of our speakers, uh, a couple of quick announcements. Uh, uh, this week on Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, Nasser will be hosting a, a hybrid event in person at our center in Belmont and, and online. Uh, 
Enforcing International Law, Challenges and Lessons, a briefing with Dr. Yelishe Kirakosian, uh, who is representing uh, Armenia at, at the World Court. Uh, it's an important opportunity to hear about this, this very significant uh, legal case that has been brought. Uh, uh, next week on Monday, September 26th uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, a conversation with Dennis Papazian, reflecting on the past, looking to the future. Uh, this event is organized by the Armenian Genocide Research Program at the Promise Armenian Institute at UCLA and is co-sponsored by uh, the Arat Eskijan and Nasser, uh, among other uh, groups. Next Thursday, September 29th, uh, again, a hybrid event at the Nasser Building in Belmont and online. Dr. Anna Ohanyan will be presenting her new book, The Neighborhood Effect, The Imperial Roots of Regional Fracture in Eurasia. And the last one I want to mention for now is on Sunday, October 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, Dr. Roy Naki uh, will speak on Fritov Nansen, Humanitarianism and the Armenian Question in the Interwar Period. And this is being, uh, this will be a hybrid event taking place at the Arat Eskijan Museum, which Nasser is very happy again to be co sponsoring. There's a lot going on. If you want to know more about these, find out whether they're in person, what time they are, how you register for them, all these technicalities, just go to uh, our website, nasser.org, for more information. Now, about our speakers today, we have a wonderful uh, array of, of, of scholars and speakers. Dr. Levon Chukasazian is the Chair of Armenian Art History and Theory at Yerevan State University. His publications include studies of Toros Roslin and Arshag Fetvajan. I'm being extremely brief here. Bishop Datev Hagopian is the primate of the Armenian Diocese of Romania. The English translation of Bishop Datev's remarks will be provided by Professor Peter Cowie, of UCLA who holds the Naragatsi chair in Armenian studies, which is one of the co-sponsors of today's event. Harar Hawk Hacharian is a renowned photographer whose work includes the collections Armenia, Heaven on Earth, a Hawk's Eye View of Armenia and Artsakh, a photographic journey. If you've seen any photographs of anything Armenian, you've seen Hawk's work. Dr. Claude Mutafian is the author of many books about various Armenian historical subjects, uh, and while Dr. Mutafian had planned to be with us in person, a last minute change of schedule uh, has occasioned a change in our format, and he will be speaking to us via a pre recorded video, which, which we will show and uh, benefit from. To the audience, please use the Zoom QA function to submit questions to the speakers, uh, and bearing in mind that they should relate to the topic of the day. And when we get to the end of the presentations, we will, we will address them. So I will now uh, ask uh, Datev Surpazan and Peter Cowie uh, to team up and, and speak. Romania. <laughs> Եվ առաջին քորձը սեր Ռումանիայում մեջ հավաքել բոլոր մեր հարստությունները եւ ամենա կարևոր ցերակրերը փաստաթուղթերը իրերը թե մի ամբողջ եկեղեցիներ մեջ հավաքեցի բոլորը առաջտոտանից դուդյան թանկարանի մեջ So the uh, Supazan was saying that uh, he uh, first uh, developed the idea about uh, 10 years ago and collected uh, a wide variety of different sorts of materials uh, in the museum. Yep, Baron Chukazian in Archepera, Yev, yes, Irena Rachargesi, Selov, Baron Chukazian, the Gek made Ampoch as Unesvaska, Usuna Sirenk. Yeah, so he began to collect all the uh, materials together, and uh, he was in touch with uh, Professor uh, Levon Chukazian uh, to come and to begin to uh, investigate these materials. Yev, Baron Chukazian Inc., Yev, Yevus Nelin. Mariam, the Gensiranusha, 
Yegan Fazmati Van Kamner Rumania Usum Nasirelu Hamar Mer Asteri Ampoch Harasotyunu. And so uh, on several occasions, Professor Chukasyan with his colleagues uh, Nelly Mariam and uh, Siranush um, came to Romania in order to investigate these materials. And so uh, after uh, various years of investigation, they determined that uh, the results should be pulled together in an album. And the Supazan is saying that uh, God sent him uh, an apostle uh, in the person of Hrayr Khacherian, uh, who was to uh, photograph all the uh, examples uh, for, for, the, for the book. Uh, in fact, quite apart from just uh, those materials that are included in the album, I also photographed uh, all the, uh, the major materials that are included in the museum in Bucharest. And so and uh, particularly with regard to the translation aspect of the publication, uh, Subhazan wishes particularly to express his thanks to uh, Bella. Uh, and now uh, the bishop uh, passes on to the, the main um, intention he had in publishing this album. And uh, so uh, the first uh, intention was to uh, make these uh, materials available to armenologists and others interested in the history of culture. Uh, the second uh, major issue was uh, by means of the album uh, to create interest in uh, other scholars in order then to come themselves to Bucharest and in situ investigate other materials that are available in the museum. And the uh, third main uh, intention was to present then to the world um, the uh, impact of the Armenian community in Romania that has been there for uh, over a millennium. Uh, one of the key issues that uh, the Sarazan wishes to highlight is the blending of cultures that emerges within the uh, material that was created by the Armenian community in Romania, a sort of blending of both East and West, which is quite unique. Uh, the uh, bishop uh, emphasizes particularly um, the impact of what we were just talking about, the uh, mixture of cultures, uh, with regards to iconography, where uh, one can discern particular characteristics that are more representative of uh, an orthodox approach, Catholic, um, 
as well as uh, particular uh, features which are distinctive of the Armenian tradition. Եվ այս բոլոր ամբողջ այս հարստությունը որ մենք գրցանք ալբոմի միջոցով ցուսատրել եւ ես գահավադան որ այս քորձը պիտի շարունակենք մենք and so um, he is very pleased that uh, there was the opportunity to display all of these treasures by means of the album and uh, he is convinced that uh, this uh, process must continue on into the future Եվ ինչպես գիտեք մենք հուլիսին Հայաստան գտնվենք մայրատոր սուրբեջ մեզի մեջ նշեցինք մեր թեմի 620 ամյակը And uh, in July uh, the uh, bishop was in Echmiadzin the center of the Armenian church worldwide and there they celebrated the 600th anniversary of the Armenian diocese of Romania Առաջին անգամ եմ մայրատոր սուրբեջ մեզի մեջ այսպիսի բազմական թեմի ամյակ գնշվի and uh, that was actually the first time historically in the church uh, center at Echmiadzin that such an anniversary had been celebrated. Իմ նպատակը սեր որ հայ հանրությունը եւ հայ հասարակությունը ծանոթանա այս քեղեցիկ մշակույթին եւ այս պատմությանը որ մենք ունենք Ռումանիայում մեջ Uh, and it was very important for the bishop that uh, the opportunity was presented to Armenian society to acquaint themselves with the history and culture that was developed by the Armenian community in Romania. Uh, and the uh, bishop is uh, currently preparing a separate volume of his own, which will be devoted to the history of the Armenian Diocese of Romania. Մեր թեմը հիմնված է 1400 մեկ թվականին։ Ah this uh, Armenian Diocese of Romania was established in the year 1401. Եվ այդ օրվանը ի վեր միջև այսօր մենք միշտ ունեցած ենք առաջնորդներ եւ առաջնորդական դեղաբաներ, որոնք եկածեն եւ մնացել են Աստեղ եւ Զարայաձ։ Ah and from that year so from uh, 14 uh, 1401 until the present uh, there's uh, an unbroken succession of uh, hierarchs uh, of the uh, diocese um, from that time right up until the present եւ այս արիթով գուզեմ իմ շնաղատումս հայտնել բոլոր այդ անց անց ցեզի եւ ընդհանրապես մեզ հայակետներում որոնք մեզ աճակցություն կցուսափերեն եւ դիտ ցուսափերեն մեզի որբեսի մենք արոնանք մեր ամբողջ հարստությունը ցուսափրել ամբողջ աշխարհի and the bishop uh, expresses his thanks to various uh, armenologists worldwide um, for the uh, activities that uh, they have become involved in in order to expose the significance uh, of these uh, materials that are available uh, in the uh, diocese of uh, Romania to a worldwide audience եւ գուզեմ ի ուրախություն ցեզ եսել որ նաեւ ես ոչ թե միան ռումանի առաջնորդեմ նաեւ եւս 8-ը երկրներու առաջնորդեմ Uh, and the bishop indicates that uh, quite apart from uh, the responsibilities of his office in Romania he is also responsible for the Armenian community in eight other countries Ureman naev ais nabadak unim Bulgaria mech nuin tsevov ayn degi unetsats harusutyuna usum nasirel yev albomi beratsel hedakayin hedakayi darineru and as a result uh, he harbors a uh, similar project with regard to his responsibilities uh, over the Armenian community in Bulgaria he would wish to uh, create an album like this uh, in order then to present the um, culture of the Armenian community in Bulgaria um, in the future years yes hi hi mishaguti zaranem yev hayakidutyan zimbov uh he indicates that uh, he represents armenian culture and is a uh, a soldier uh, in the ranks uh, of armenian culture shnagatun gaidnetsis and he expresses his uh, yeah. his warm thanks <clears throat> wonderful thank you so much and uh we will now uh turn to our friend professor levon chukasazian thank you 
the idea of exploration of Armenian uh, artistic heritage in uh, Eastern Europe, this idea was discussed uh, between me and uh, uh, famous explorer of uh, Armenian architecture, Armen Hachnazarian, and uh, my late friend and colleague who once in private conversation asked me two questions. He asked, uh, Devon, who is the owner of Armenian art? It's uh, church, it's uh, AGBU, it's uh, Armenian parties, Armenian government. <coughs> and the uh, second question was, who will explore the art of uh, Armenian colonies, communities in Eastern Europe? And for first question, I answered that uh, the owner of Armenian art is and are those people, those people who are devoted to exploration of Armenian art. And second question was for me really difficult to answer, who will explore? And uh, many years later, I have met uh, His Grace, Bishop Tatev Agopian, and we have uh, touched this subject and uh, discovered that both of us are interested in exploration of Armenian art in Romania. And uh, when I have um, returned to Armenia, uh, I have applied to Minister of Culture of Armenia, Mrs. Hasmik Bogosian, and asked her for uh, financial assistance. And she uh, immediately understood the importance of this, and she uh, started to fund the um, visits of our group, my colleagues, assistant professors of Chair of Armenian Art and History at Yerevan State University, uh, Professor Siranush Manukyan, uh, Mariam Bartanyan, Nelly Sambadian, and um, Later, uh, Lucine Sarkisian was joined to our group. And then I have applied to uh, Vice Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs uh, of Armenia, Mr. Arsen Karamian, and asked him to send two young scholars for one month to Romania for this work. And uh, so Nelly Sambadian and uh, Lucine Sarkisian had this opportunity to work for one work. Being in Romania, I have negotiated with the uh, vice director of New Europe College, Mrs. Anka Oroviano, and uh, she promised, uh, promised to give uh, two grants to our young scholars, whom I have mentioned already, for six months. Each of them worked six months in Romania. Then uh, I have uh, written a proposal of uh, two and a half uh, years grant to state committee of Armenia, and we succeeded to get this grant, and uh, all our group had a chance to work during this period in uh, uh, Romania. And uh, we are also thankful to these people and uh, to head of uh, Society of Armenians of Romania, to Mr. Varujan Voskanyan, who uh, sponsored uh, trips of uh, our members to Transylvania to see the Art, artistic heritage of uh, Armenians, Catholic Armenians in Transylvania. And uh, due to these uh, efforts of um, our uh, late uh, ambassador of Armenia in Romania, late uh, Hamlet Gasparian, and uh, Mr. Varujan Voskanyan, with collaboration of Academy of Sciences of Romania, uh, and under patronage of this uh, academy and society of Armenian, Armenians in Romania, we have succeeded to have symposium devoted to Armenian history and legacy of uh, Romanian Armenians, artistic legacy of Romanian Armenians. So uh, during years, a lot of work is done, are explored uh, by our group, uh, the artifacts in uh, Dudian Museum, um, those are um, 
silverwork, icons, textiles, uh, carpets, and uh, other artifacts. And due to this work, this book appeared. With uh, the visits to Romania, we are dealing with interesting phenomena. This was the first time that any group, any scholarly group, periodically visited a former Armenian community and exploring Armenian art there. This was first time in the history of Armenia that one group from Yerevan State University from Armenia, one group came periodically during 10 years to uh, Romania. It is many efforts due to which this was succeeded. It is many time, many efforts, um, and a lot of time is devoid, devoted to organization of this work. Year by year, year by year, we did it, and we are lucky that the book finally appeared due to the efforts of uh, Bishop Tatev and uh, uh, <clears throat> Romanian Ministry of uh, Religious Affairs and the Armenian Society of Romania, and uh, hopefully. This will be a good example for other groups to visit other countries, to find funding and visit other countries and explore history and art history of uh, Armenian communities there. Hopefully we will continue this work. Of course, present situation in Armenia is not very best for that, but we are uh, optimists. Myself, I am optimist and uh, I uh, don't afraid of difficulties. If we will uh, survive, if we will uh, pass these uh, political difficulties, we will do this work. And uh, I am very grateful to all those people who made their efforts for our work, made possible our periodical work in Armenia. Thank you. Thank you, Levon. Uh, thank you very much. And the next next speaker uh, in, in absentia, as it were, uh, but on video is is going to be uh, Claude Mutafian. And I will share the screen and I think this will work. At the beginning of the 17th century, the Armenian travel, Simeon de Paul, was going to Jerusalem. He crossed Moldavia and he wrote explicitly, there is no city, no village, no farm where you could not find an Armenian. So this is a very uh, interesting testimony. Uh, and a little bit later, in, say, in 1700, in Transylvania was founded uh, a, a, a city called Hayakarak. It was founded by the Armenians, Hayakarak. Then the name changed to Armenopolis in Latin, and now it is called Gerla. It is the only city in Europe which has been founded by the Armenians. Not only inhabited, but founded by the Armenians. So, so this, this, these two testimonies show that there was an important uh, Armenian presence in the area. Where did these Armenians come from? There is a tradition uh, which is supposed to, uh, linked with the fall of Ani in a, and the, 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 the capture of Ani by the Turks in 1064, uh, saying that then this capture uh, was followed by a, a mass emigration and uh, that the, uh, the Armenians uh, migrated to, to cross the Black Sea and went to uh, Romania. In fact, there is no, not a single proof of this, uh, of this theory. Uh, and on the contrary, the, 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 the proofs show that the, the entrance of the Armenian in Romania was not from the south, but from the north. So where did it come from? In fact, it is linked with the, with, with the, the decadence of the, the last Armenian kingdom in Cilicia. So it is from Cilicia 
that Armenians, when the Mamluks were little by little uh, uh, capturing uh, the, 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 king, the kingdom, it is from Silesia that the Armenians went, uh, emigrated. What did they emigrate? The first step was in Crimea. Why? Because the south coast of Crimea was in the hand of the Genoese. And the Armenians had very good uh, uh, relations with the Genoese through the Mediterranean uh, trade. So they first settled in, in Crimea. And uh, there, there was an, an important city, Kaffa, which, is, which was uh, majority Armenian. But then after the, 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 the Ottoman threat, uh, well, they, uh, they, they went further north and they, uh, they, uh, they followed the valleys of the Dniestr and the Dniepr. And so they entered uh, Romania uh, through Valach Valachia from the north. And uh, the, 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 the first Armenian presence uh, uh, is in the, in the cities of Suchava, Silet, Yashi, all in the north. Uh, they have problems with the local uh, population, essentially uh, religious, because the local population was mainly Greek Orthodox, and the Armenians were uh, Armenian Apostolic. So there were uh, some uh, persecutions. Uh, the most significant persecution was in 1551. Uh, in some uh, uh, monasteries of Moldavia, there are frescoes showing the last judgment, the last judgment where one after the other the damned people follow, and among the damned people are the Armenians. So which means and that so there, there was an important uh, persecution. Apart from that, the Armenians had uh, very good uh, positions. Uh, the, the, the best example is the, the prince of Moldavia, Jan Voda, who was an Armenian, who ruled from 1572 to 1574, and then was dismembered by the Turks. There were also Armenian scriptoria from the end of the 15th century, copy, copies of manuscripts. And uh, in spite of the persecutions, the Armenians remained faithful to the uh, uh, From Moldavia, they spread in Dobruja uh, and in Valakia, uh, the, one of the examples is the famous uh, uh, Manuk Bay. Uh, there was still his, uh, his big uh, restaurant in, uh, in Bucharest. Uh, the Armenian printing also became, uh, developed in, uh, in this area, beginning from Yashi in 1847, and the Armenian press also at the beginning of the 19th century. There were some, some very famous uh, Armenian uh, personalities, like the painter Theodor Aman, the collectioner Krikor Zambachian. There is still his museum in, uh, in Bucharest, the Zambachian Museum, the, the physician Anna Aslan, and, of course, the Catholicos Vasquez I, who was originated from Romania. The Armenian Cathedral in, uh, in, uh, in Bucharest uh, was founded in, uh, in uh, 1915. Then, there were, after, after the communist uh, regime and the end of the communists in, in 1990, there was a rebirth of the union of the Armenians uh, of, uh, of Romania which is now a very important, uh, uh, a very important organization with a seat uh, uh, between the cathedral and the museum in the, in the capital, Bucharest. The, the other part of Romania, so the, the of actual Romania, which is Transylvania in the, in, in the, in the West, has a totally different story. Uh, there were some, some uh, it was uh, following so, uh, some persecutions in, uh, in Moldavia and Valachia, uh, mainly after the 1670, 1668 uprising. Many Armenians fl crossed the Carpathians to the east, to the west. And they were welcomed in Transylvania because at that time Transylvania was governed by the by the, the uh, dynasty of Protestant princes, the Apafi. And there was a kind of anti-Catholic solidarity. 
between the Apafi princes and the Armenians, and so the Armenians were very well welcomed there. They, uh, but on the, con the, the, the Catholic pressure in Transylvania was much stronger and much more efficient than the Greek Orthodox pressure in Moldavia. And little by little, well, the Armenian, the Transylvanian Armenian converted to Catholicism. Uh, mostly after uh, uh, 1699, when the, 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 the area came under the authority of the Habsburg, of the Catholic Habsburg. So the, uh, uh, the, the now the, the uh, Transylvanian Armenians are practically all uh, Catholics. Uh, one, one, and, and even uh, there were even some uh, some uh, fanatic Catholics. Uh, the most famous is Oxentius Virziresco, a fanatic, an Armenian fanatic Catholic. Uh, uh, but uh, he left a positive thing because he is the one who got the authorization to found this Armenian city, Hayakarak, the actual uh, Gerla. Uh, the cathedral, so the, the Catholic Armenian cathedral in Gerla uh, was was founded in 1804. Uh, and the interesting thing is that in this cathedral, the mass, the Catholic mass, is not in Armenian, neither in Romanian, but still in Hungarian. Which means that more than one century after the, the, the annexion of, of Transylvania to, to, the, to, uh, to Moldavia, to, uh, the, the, the Armenian uh, uh, of Transylvania keep the Hungarian tradition. That is through the, the religion. So now the, the picture is, uh, is, very, is, is very important. There are two, so Armenian, two branches of the Armenian community in uh, uh, in uh, in Romania, but both are very flourishing, and this is a very important uh, minority, which is not very well known. When one one thinks of uh, speaks about, about the the Armenian uh, communities in Europe, one thinks mainly of uh, France and Italy, and one forgets uh, in Eastern Europe uh, the the Ukraine and and mostly Romania. So this, this book is very important because it shows uh, how the, uh, the Armenian uh, community in Romania developed the, and developed its culture and its art. Because always the, uh, the, develop, the, 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 the Armenian settlements were always accompanied by a development of the arts and, uh, and, and, and the culture. Thank you. Shut lawyer. No. Okay, little thing. No. Yes. Thank you. Uh and thank you to to Hawk for, for recording that. And and we certainly thank uh uh Dr. Mutafian. Uh, for that, and we're sorry he couldn't be here with us uh, in in person, so to speak. Uh, I will now uh, turn to uh, Hak Hacharian. Uh, here we go. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Maggie. Hi, Mark. Parev uh, Serpazan. Hi, everyone. I'm sitting exactly where uh, Claude Mutafian was sitting. I'm in Paris right now. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, uh, historical facts about the hawk, how I became a photographer. At school uh, in uh, St. Gregory, uh, the Armenian church and school in Lebanon, uh, St. Gregoire, uh, they used to teach us the Armenian history. But uh, since the books uh, lacked images, I did not uh, learn very well. Uh, the history or uh, anything about geography, Armenian geography. And uh, after getting uh, the lung cancer in 1993, I made a vow that I will photograph the Armenian churches around the globe because I was given 10 days to die. So that's how I started actually uh, going around the world 
and photographing the Armenian churches and learning about our history. And also in 1992, I went to uh, Artsakh to photograph the war and to get to know the people of Artsakh. So I will be sharing uh, a video with you that I have prepared. Here we go. You see it? Yeah. So uh, the Armenians in Romania, I didn't know about uh, Armenians uh, that existed in Romania until, like I said, uh, my first visit in 1997 as a pilgrim with the late Archbishop uh, 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 that we went to 19, in 1997 to Romania with Mestro Bastian. That's when I discovered that there are Armenian churches around the globe and also in Romania. So after 20 years of uh, photographing in 48 countries, I published a book titled One Church, One Nation. And that's when the Romanian Armenian churches were uh, uh, included. So my second visit was in 2017 with uh, Professor Claude Mutafian because he was working on a book about the Armenians in Romania. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> he's very meticulous about researching and finding everything that has to do with Armenians uh, all over the world, actually, and especially in Romania. So we went to uh, different parts of the monasteries that exist in Romania. And actually these are Romanian uh, churches where we can see like uh, the professor Claude Mutafia mentioned the Armenian priests were persecuted. Here we see on the front, uh, one of those uh, priests. So Shuchevista monastery also has one. And it's really interesting. The monasteries that I have seen in Romania are like open, uh, manuscript books and here we can see all the details up in the open which is very very rare uh, all the other churches that i've seen around the, the globe don't have such important images and it's really interesting because they're outside and here it is another uh, armenian priest uh, wearing black is persecuted the armenian <clears throat> uh, museum is rich with many many artifacts and I didn't know about all this until uh, we went with Claude Mutafian and started photographing for his book. And like I said, he's very meticulous in, uh, at the airport before arriving. And we also had our share of uh, accidents. Uh, you think that nothing could happen to you because uh, you're photographing churches, but actually uh, we had a car accident when the car hit a sidewalk and it slid about 50 yards. Uh, miraculously, nobody was hurt. And we continued our journey with Claude uh, to photograph and document the rest of uh, the, the churches. And he published also a book in 2018. That's when I met uh, for the first time Archbishop uh, Haropian. And he mentioned that we should do a book together, like he said before, he had planned for it for a long time. So we agreed and <clears throat> my third visit to Romania with my assistant and graphic designer, Lilith Khachadrian, we went there in 2017 for, this, uh, for my second trip and in 2017, and we started photographing everything like uh, the Archbishop says, from 8 a.m. till after midnight, even when all the professors were sleeping, even Archbishop was sleeping, uh, we were still working. Uh, the Armenian Catholics, like he mentioned, uh, were on the west side and on the east side of the country were mostly uh, the apostolics. So Claude Mutafian wrote the, the preface of the book, Introduction. And what's really interesting is the Armenian churches have different architecture because they had to um, mix whatever was available in that region. And what's really interesting also the frescoes that you see, uh, which is amazing. After so many years, it's been preserved. And this is where my pilgrimage was in 1997. And Archbishop uh, is holding a light for me so that we can photograph the bell. And we went to all over uh, Romania together 
uh, thanks to uh, Bella, thanks to uh, Bishop uh, Agopian. And as you can see, uh, in photography, it's very important to have the good lighting, perfect lighting, and uh, to have a good design in a book is very important also. And the quality of the printing was amazing and it was done in Romania and thanks to Bella who did, she did not stop one minute uh, coordinating all the details uh, from the text uh, to translations to the printing of uh, this book. So it was really interesting to see that we have paintings which are different from what we see in Armenian churches and uh, it's very uh unique also in colors and it was very difficult to photograph all this because the majority were uh in dust because uh, a lot of items were not exhibited for a long time so with my assistant uh, we were able to uh clean everything one by one that's why we, it took us a long long time to photograph all these items and it's very important uh, the idea of publishing this book uh, because a lot of people will be able to see what we have as a culture, Armenians in Romania. And uh, as you can see, uh, the manuscripts are different. They're very unique. And the silver well as well. These were very difficult to photograph and for a layout of a book, you think it's so easy to have just a piece of uh, item photograph and then lay, laid out on a uh, piece of paper. But actually, uh, I will be showing you a little bit of the background uh, work. Here it is, for example, uh, hanging from uh, a thread. And then in a book, you see that it's not hanging from a thread. It's all cleaned up. So it takes time and effort to get from one image to the book and a lot of, lot of uh, uh, hard work. And of course we have the silverwares, beautiful designs from the past, and also the textile. The textiles were a little bit difficult to photograph because um, uh, there, there were a lot of big items. For example, uh, the carpets. These were pre, uh, pretty much easy, but the carpets were very difficult to photograph because they were big. So we had to carry them uh, to the first floor uh, and put it outside and then climb to the second floor and hanging from the window, I was able to photograph these large items. Uh, thank God I didn't fall and uh, I didn't create any problems to the diocese. Here we go. These are the, some of the items that we photograph from the window. This is how the design is made. It's photographed meticulously and then cleaned with Photoshop and then laid out with the captions. The stamps were also very interesting. And the details are amazing. It's very important to have a good design, a simple design, and good quality of photograph. Now I can say to my uh, teachers that did not teach me well, at least I can teach. Here we can see the Archbishop uh, working and helping us, and Bella with Nico were amazing in creating all this project. So here we go. <laughs> She's doing the checkout work and it was published in 2020. Bravo everyone. Bravo Serpazan. Bravo Bella. Thank you, Hawk. Well, here, here's the book that was published in 2018 by Professor uh, Claude Mutafian, which is very important. And also in 2020, uh, the treasures of Romania. 
which is fantastically done. The printing, the paper choice, the binding, and of course, the many hours that we had to put in in order to get to these results. Thank you. Thank you, it is a beautiful book. Uh, well, we uh, appreciate the presentations of, of all of our speakers today and um, we welcome any questions. I, I will start with one question and uh, this is a question of my own and therefore it proceeds from a, a state of ignorance, which I hope to, uh, to uh, rectify, but it seems at a glance anyway, that the Armenian community in Romania has been able to preserve more of its cultural identity than perhaps some of the other Eastern European communities. I'm thinking, for example, of that of uh, Lvov. Uh, first of all, is that even remotely accurate? And second, if it is, why might that be the case? And I would welcome the thoughts of, of course, anyone. I have to mention that uh, Poland has uh, a lot of uh, artifacts scattered in different cities, in libraries, in museums, in uh, private collections, in the Armenian center of Warsaw, and Lvov, and area of Lvov is also very rich with uh, Armenian artifacts. So, uh, as the Armenian merchants merchants were uh, more uh, working in Lvov, so they were uh, doing uh, such uh, export import of Armenian artifacts, especially carpets from Iran to uh, Lvov to Poland and uh, farther. Uh, so it's uh, really amazing what they have in Poland. There is a uh, big catalog uh, which is published many years ago in occasion of exposition in museum at Krakow. It was published in 1998 and it is only a small part of what is uh, published. But uh, the addresses of artifacts demonstrate, indicate that from north till south, from east till west, there are numerous Armenian artifacts, all kinds of artifacts. Thank you, Lava. Well, I don't know if, uh, if the question can, can be answered. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, maybe it's an incorrect uh, statement of, of, of the situation, but... Um, let me go to other questions. Uh, general question of where the treasures uh, that are shown in the book are located and who owns the items that are, are that some of which we saw in, in the presentations and many of which are included in the book. Bishop. Uh... Hagopian should answer. Uh, we, if we, un, we will unmute him. Wow. Ureman Himnagan Mer Harasutunag Kadnebi Dudian Arashotanis Tankarani Mech Kadnebi Nev Vankeru Mech Hachkadar Suchabai Hachkadar Yevzamka Vankeru Mech Եվ նաև մենք ունինք 16 եկեղեցի որ եւ 8 մադուրներ որոնց մեջ կկտվեն մեր բոլոր հարսությունները We can't hear you Peter Գլսեք Peter Okay so basically the supervisor said that uh, most of the materials that are featured in the book um, are contained in the Dudian Museum, which is at the Diocesan Center in Bucharest. Uh, but there are also a number of uh, important collections 
in the monasteries, and fundamentally there were two, the uh, Hachikabdar um, Monastery and uh, Zamka Monastery. Uh, in addition to those, there were also 16 churches in the uh, Armenian Diocese of Romania. They have their own collections, uh, in addition to eight uh, smaller shrines. Um, so I, I, I guess the, uh, the, uh, the response is that uh, all of these materials are associated with the Armenian Diocese of Romania, um, most found in the capital, but uh, other materials are strewn throughout the country in various uh, ecclesiastical foundations. Thank you. Uh, there's a, a comment and a question from one of the, the audience members that the Mary Hill Museum in Washington has in its vaults an Armenian bishop's cloak that the exiled Romanian queen brought with her. Are there plans to search and catalog such items that exist here in the United States? It's an interesting point. I think it's very difficult to uh, explore the artifacts in the uh, United St States because uh, um, let's say almost every library in the uh, United States has uh, illustrated Armenian manuscripts. I am talking also uh, not only about libraries, but also museums. And um, those items that are scattered in different uh, museums is difficult because it is necessary to make funding for uh, research researchers of uh, scholars to those states. It's not uh, so easy. Yes, there was a catalog done some years ago of the Armenian manuscripts in the United States, uh, I, I believe by, by Professor Cowie's predecessor, uh, 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 Professor um, uh, Avedi Sanjan. Sanjan. Uh, Sanjan. And uh, I don't know that there has been any comparable effort done for Armenian art works or artifacts in the United States. It would be, as Lavon says, a, a large undertaking, uh, although potentially a very valuable one. There Question. were expositions, expositions. <clears throat> One of them uh, was organized in 1996, as much as I remember, Treasures from Heaven. It was in um, Pierpont Morgan Library in yeah. New York. <clears throat> there were mostly uh, illustrated manuscripts uh, from uh, different collections of United States. But, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> there are many Armenian even uh, paintings and artworks, even of modern period. Many, many years ago, I had the idea of such exposition. A century of Armenian art in America. Started with uh, uh, Ruben Nakian, uh, Jose Pushman uh, from the end of 19th century, and including Archil Gorky and Raul Haag and numerous famous uh, uh, artists and sculptors, but unfortunately, uh, I have spoken with different people, and uh, uh, nobody was really supporting this idea. So even for one century, we have numerous, numerous artifacts, numerous painters who are forgotten, absolutely forgotten. Somebody whose family was Ishlemijan, he changed into Humer, and. Uh, Many others, Raoul Hug, who was Hagelikian, famous sculptor who died in New York and uh, American newspapers uh, wrote about that in 1993 and uh, numerous other people. And uh, so only during century, so many uh, things are created. Ruben Nakian's sculptures are scattered in uh, different states of America. Nobody is interested in that. Even uh, Armenian illustrated manuscripts in the United States are not explored, unfortunately, not explored, because Sir Abitanesis and, and Tom Matthews, they did their best uh, for uh, many things, but it is not enough. The work is not progressing. We don't uh, see that uh, even illustrated manuscripts are uh, periodically studied in America. We, we, we've drifted from Romania, I'm afraid, but uh, nonetheless, the, the points raised by uh, 
Professor Chukasazian are, are, are pertinent and, and hopefully can be addressed in a future uh, program or, or undertaking for sure. Uh, I have a question here about the state of preservation work being done uh, either on the, the artworks or objects or on the churches in, in Romania, which she says seem to be vulnerable to weather conditions. Can, can anyone offer a general assessment or specifics? Uh, <clears throat> for the for the exteriors of the churches that I sh just showed, uh, those are actually Romanian churches, and they have some kind of a uh, umbrella thing uh, on the roof. So uh, it's been uh, surviving uh, for hundreds of years. So it's either the painting or whatever. But the Armenian churches and the artifacts, it's for uh, Bishop uh, Hagopian to answer. Uremen Jesusem im das darvan taskin yes nach polor kitsank menk inchuning arachin mer korsder vor kitnaik menk inch harustuning yev anorme yegrot etabner vor betke menk norokenk mer polor harustuna yev as polor harustuna norokelo amar pnagan nutagan ashaksun betkuning Polor Nutagan Achaksun Bedutun Nevor Mezigoka, Rumen Bedutuna, Yev Arash Nortarana. Yes, Pasmati, Haigagan Gazmager Butuner Nama Krazem, Teshpata Parvosh Vokchok Nesmezi. Polor Inch Gazmager Butunga, Michaskain, Yev Haigagan Michaskain, Polorina Nama Krazem, Pazvoch Vok Mezi Choknets. But yes, yes, who is the Razem Rumem Bedutian Vra, Yef Mer Arash Nortaranibra. Yev, yes, who is Sunim, as Michek, yes, who is Sunim, Menk Yot Hingen Yot Darietka, Mer Polor Unesvaska, the Norokeng. Yev Yegeret Sinera, Yev Ampoch Tankarain in Harstituna, Yev Ari Urahotun, says the Sem, or Menk Michev Nordari Bidunanank. Haigagan Vara Kuneru, Norokutian, Korzan Tasabidisk Sing, Hosazeng Arten Yergu Masnaked Nereed, Yevano Vidikan, Michel Nordari, Yebid Noroken, Vara Kune, Vorovede Kidek, Vor Mertemi Mechkan, Shad Arjekabor, Yot Vara Kure, Vorong Ambayman Betke Norokfin, Yev Yes Gavadam, Yete Anong Norokfin, Anos Mednal Bidisk Sing, Ail Norokutuner, Meg Arten. Haik Sargava Kuninga Sev or Mer Sargavak Ne Yevna Mia Jamanakinka Sarpana Garner Ganoroke Yev as Sarpana Garner Norokelov Megna Bidi Norokeng Miss Polor Mer Sarpana Garner. Okay, so the um, the bishop mentioned that uh, he has been in Romania for ten years. Uh, his first priority was to create a catalogue. Uh, the second was to move on then to the repair and renewal of the Armenian uh, heritage under his uh, disposal. Uh, one of the major factors associated with that is, of course, funding. And uh, primarily, this has been undertaken by the Romanian state combined with the uh, Armenian diocese. These have been the two main uh, means of producing funding for this important activity to continue. He has uh, applied uh, uh, on uh, various occasions to uh, other sorts of organizations, both Armenian and international, but so far without a major impact. Um, at, at this point, uh, he uh, is under the impression that within the next five to seven years, uh, the uh, repair and renovation of most of the material under his supervision uh, will be uh, accomplished. This relates to the various churches, plus the materials which are included in the uh, museum. Uh, most recently, there has been a, a beginning to this uh, work of uh, repair and renovation uh, with regard to the altar curtains, uh, which are in the museum collection in Bucharest. There are seven of those, and these are of great value and the process uh, has uh, begun on those, and the hope is that it will be completed by the new year. 
Uh, there's also a local deacon who is uh, involved at the moment in the renovation of the icons. So the process then begins with the icons of the older curtains and systematically thereafter, uh, each different uh, aspect of this uh, activity will be undertaken. Yes, because I'm sure I got to know side the Naribara Chirumen Bedutiano. Is Cabes Rumen Bedutuno Mia, yes, him the Sats, Asharimech Miak Bedutune, Cone him Abrazer Gunner Boronkes Abrazem, Boraskan, Metz Hedakar Tungut Sapere Mer Harasutianev, Irenk, Gachaxim, Borbese Romania Mech, Meram Poch Cancera, Harasutuna, Norokfi, Yev Keretic Sevov, Susaterbi. Yegro Shunagatunus Guzem Hydnel Maron Der Derev Digin Hagop, Yev Ika Kuim Jan Nerun, New York, Romana Hai Danikmane, Borong Mish Mezigat Saper and Iren Sokrotuna, Yev Anon Shnori Vormen Kachkadari, Ampoch Yegeres for Nersa, Noro Ketsing, Yegeres for Serpanda Garner, Yev Horan. So the, um, uh, the bishop uh, adds his uh, particular uh, thanks to the Romanian state uh, for their involvement in the repair and renovation of the Armenian churches and the other materials in the uh, collections. Uh, in his experience in the different uh, countries where he has been uh, involved officially, uh, he hasn't found a similar degree of uh, interest on the part of uh, state stakeholders uh, that has been manifest in uh, Romania. Uh, and secondly, he wishes to extend his uh, thanks to a, a, a community, a, a family actually, um, from Romania uh, in New York. And um, uh, as a result then of the benefit of uh, their um, uh, funding, uh, there has been the complete repair of the, uh, the church, the altar, and the icons um, in the monastery of Khachkadar. Uh, Thank you. And I, I would add that uh, it's my hope, maybe, uh, that if anyone is watching this, either live or in the future on, on YouTube, who is interested in supporting this work, they should, by all means, contact uh, the the, uh, the 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 bishop uh, or or uh, one of us who are on the panel, and we will convey the the information to to the bishop, and um, hopefully this will help raise awareness uh, of the wonderful materials that are that are there, and and of course materials need preservation, and preservation is very expensive. So uh, where help can be provided, uh, it, it's always much appreciated. Uh, we, a number of comments from audience members expressing thanks to the participants uh, for, for all the information that's been conveyed. And a uh, question here, um, have, have you, I'm not sure who the you is, perhaps the you is addressed towards, towards the bishop, uh, thought about having a seminar about all the Armenian collectors whose collections are in Romanian national museums today. There are uh, national uh, museums, Romanian national museums, where there are uh, <clears throat> Armenian artifacts and uh, they are uh, sometimes exposed as uh, non-Armenian. The labels that they are accompanying artifacts are not always correct. Mm. And the reason for this is that uh, Romanian scholars don't have uh, uh, necessary information and literature about Armenian art. They don't recognize Armenian artifacts, nor in Romania, nor in Hungary, nor in other countries. And um, about pr private collections, there are there is a Zambakchan collection in Bucharest, a special uh, uh, museum which was house of uh, uh, famous uh, collectors, uh, you know, Zambakchan. And um, it is uh, nationalized, and uh, there are uh, artifacts uh, connected with French art, Romanian art, and uh, only one painting is uh, near the entrance, uh, which is Armenian. And um, uh, in other uh, museums, there is a special museum of private collections where you can see 
Avakian collection. It is a very rich collection of different artifacts, carpets and silverwork and etc. and paintings. And Avakian himself was a painter. His paintings are there exposed. And um, this is uh, necessary to uh, expose not only these private collections, but also the works of Armenian painters who were active in Romania. Since Theodor Aman, who established the National School of Painting in the middle of 19th century, and uh, with uh, others who uh, were active uh, during the 20th century. And uh, sometimes their paintings uh, you can see in National Gallery of Romania and uh, in other galleries. So it is necessary that somebody will fu be funding this periodically that we can uh, expose those uh, artworks and bring uh, these names uh, to public, to not only Armenian, but also Romanian society. Agreed. And by the way, by the way, about restoration and preservation, there in uh, Gerla, there is Armenian centers, Armenian cultural centers, and uh, uh, there are uh, hanging or attached to the walls uh, icons which are restored in Budapest. In Hungary, there was an exposition several years ago uh, from Ararat to Carpets. And uh, they took from Gerla icons and restored and brought back, and they are now in very good state of preservation. Uh, the final question, which a couple people have, and, and I hope our, our friends in, our, in Romania can address, is how can interested parties obtain copies of the book? Uh, where can they buy it? They, they can contact us uh, in email, and we'll try to do something to ship uh, the book. P people may or may not be aware that international book distribution is rather complex and expensive yes. uh, these days, more and more so with each passing day, I'm sorry to say. So uh, unfortunately, at this point, the Nasser bookstore does not have the book. I hope we might be able to have it in, in the future. And it's nonetheless, if you are able to get hold of a copy, uh, undoubtedly, you will not be sorry because it is a beautiful volume. So please contact the uh, the, the 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 church in in Bucharest, yes. Diocese yes? here, yeah. Uh, maybe we can um, we can leave the email. Maybe our contact for those will, who, yeah. Yes, I will be very happy to post that information uh, on our on our website, uh, accompanying the announcement of the of the uh, of this event, and um, we'll call it to people's attention for for book purchasing. Thank you. Then it remains for me to thank everyone uh, present and not present who participated today, as well as the audience. Uh, it's, it's a wonderfully rich topic. I know we have only scratched the surface of it. I hope we can explore it more in, in future subjects. And I hope that uh, uh, the, the bishops and, and, and uh, goal of seeing similar books done for other communities in Bulgaria and in other Eastern European communities and other communities around the world uh, can be emulated uh, and, and that we can have a whole shelf full of similar books in the future because they, they all deserve exposure to, to a wider audience. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing your thoughts and wisdom and images. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.